Hey and welcome to this quick blog post uh, about how to make a blog post SEO friendly. Um, so we're just going to jump straight in. So in the back of your WordPress website, you want to go to posts. Uh, you'll see here that we've got all the blog posts that we have uh, made already. Um, we've got the title and description, which um, we're going to go into a little bit later. But first of all, we just want to go add new. Okay, so in the new post, the first thing we want to do is to come up with a creative and informative title. So let's say that you are a business coach and you want to write a like a common problem for entrepreneurs is losing motivation. So you want to write a, um, a blog post which is going to um, solve that specific issue. So your the title needs to have the keywords about motivation and the problem you're solving, but it also needs to be um, very clickable. So instead of just going um, how to cure motivation or how to keep motivated, you might want to just jazz up a bit and say um, 10 body hacks um, that keep you motivated and more productive than ever. So that second one's a lot more um, clickable than the, the first one. So you also want to think about the questions that the people are going to be um, typing into Google. So the person might be searching for, um, how do I stay motivated when I can't be asked anymore? Or um, are there any tips for keeping motivated when times get tough? Or um, so things like that. So for a creative title, let's say uh, people love lists as well uh, and they want to be able to skim read the thing. So uh, let's say um, and body hack to keep you when I get up. Okay, like, so that's a catchy title. Um, it, you're gonna, you know that what you're gonna get when you read the post, um, and it's clickable, but it's not clickbaity, um, which Google doesn't want anymore. So um, yeah, I think we'll we'll go with that. Okay, so uh, the next bit is obviously the easy bit, which is all the content um, you need to write. Um, <clears throat> Uh, a benefit of just saying like 10 or 15 or um, a number um, means that you can have that many titles uh, and that breaks the blog posts up into, um, makes it readable in like five seconds for people who want to skim read it or um, people who want who have more time and want to learn all the details about it, um, then they can actually um, sit and read the whole blog post. So. Um, what I normally do is um, a, bit of, a bit of bit of text. I've just got some dummy text I put in. So I normally start with a title, uh, like a, a brief introduction, um, and then we can go into um, just writing each of these like ten body hacks. So obviously number one is. Okay, so obviously you're going to do a little bit more research into your blog posts and the actual benefits of it. So um, what we're going to do is, um, because this is a heading, we just want to make Google know that this is an important heading of it. Um, we're just going to uh, go ahead and turn that into a heading 2. Um, we only want to go heading 2 or heading 3 in this actual context, uh, in, in the content, uh, because this title is going to be your heading 1. So um, once we've done this title, we now just want to put a, um, a few details about it. So I'm just going to copy and paste another um, couple of paragraphs about that. Okay, and then we go into um, the next bit. So. Um, yeah. All right, um, and then highlight that, and um, we're going to do heading to again for that. And then there's going to be some content about getting more sleep. 
um, you might want to go into um, like sleep hacks or whatever, just a little bit more detail. So um, in here you might have um, so this might be a, a like an extra subheading. So here you would have you would label this as a heading three, and then you can go into more detail. Um, Two, and because it's a subheading of this one, we just want to make that a heading three, and then and so on, and then we just add more text in there. Okay, so and then we do this for all ten uh, of the packs. So as you can see now, it's starting to come together. So here you've got a quick introduction, and then if you just want to get those quick things, you can just um, Grab the headings. You can skim read it. Um, you know that you've got some smaller important bits here, and then this will go all the way down, and then you'll have all of your content. So that's the main bit that um, Google want, um, and that was fine back in the day. Um, but people want things a little bit more interesting now. So uh, what I do now is I just turn all of these. Uh, blog post or the, or the these 10 body hacks I would turn that into a quick video um, you can use a, a online video tool called biteable and they would be that would be a really really easy way to turn um, just the 10 points into um, a quick video for people to watch and instead of just adding the video to your uh, blog post and storing it on your um, website you'd want to um, make a YouTube channel for yourself um, and then you'd want to upload the videos to that uh, channel and then embed the video link into your page so let's just go to YouTube and um, Um, okay, so this is just an example one. Um, you'd obviously get your own video. Okay, so Tony Robbins, yeah, he knows how to stay motivated. So we'll go to that video. I'm just going to pause it because I don't want it to play. And then in this um, share link, you can then click embed here. And then this will give you all of the code that you want and that that's, you're going to keep that you're going to put that into your website um, but just as an extra tip untick the show suggested videos at the end and um, untick the show video title so you've literally just got this um, player icon uh, keeps it a lot cleaner and looks much better on your page so you just want to copy that and then go back to your post okay so um, I always put the videos at the top of the post so that people can instantly see that there's a video. Um, people are just more, much more inclined to start watching that. Um, so you just want to add a little space in there. Um, here you can just get a little bit technical. I go to your text tab and the cursor will be where you left it. So um, it has this in, so we just put the iframe in there. Which is the code that we pasted from YouTube, and then okay, and now we have that video um, embedded into the blog post. So, um, like it, it's going to be better if you have your own videos, but it's it's still fine to have other people's videos embedded in your uh, post. So, um, yeah, so you're all, we're all good doing that. Um, Another way uh, that you might want to like keep the post interesting if you uh, you don't want to put too many videos, just like one or two tops for each post, uh, is just adding in um, some like images. So um, a good uh, resource is a place called Flash. Okay. So um, Unthrust is um, copyright free um, images, 
uh, just keep the um, what the photographer's name in the forwarding, and then that's that's how you give back to them. Um, so let's say. Um, Anyway, cool. So we could use this video, this picture. I might not want it, but people on the train. Okay, so just download that, um, make it into a smaller image, um, like I have done here. Um, for our video. Um, so, and then we just go back to our blog post. And we're just going to add that in. So, uh, underneath this title, let's just click um, Add Media. And then just open the file, and then we're just going to drag that image in. Simple as that. Insert into posts, and then that image is going to um, go in there. Um, we would like to um, make the images small, so let's just keep it full size because it's got a good width, um, and yeah, it looks better to on the post. Very clean feet. So um, yeah. So um, yeah, just dot around a couple of images, and then that will basically keep the blog post looking um, looking good and informative. Okay. So uh, the next thing we need to do is adding internal and external links. So an internal link is going to be a link which is going to uh, another blog post or another one of your pages on your website. Um, external link is going to be going to someone else's website like maybe Wikipedia or um, I don't know, um, uh, like maybe a, 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 an article on Tony Robbins site because it's, we're talking about motivation here. So for internal links. Um, it's good just have um, one maybe going to your home page and then you want as many um, internal links going to other blog posts which basically expand on a topic that you're referencing um, inside this post already so um, I don't know in one of these okay in this coffee one you might have a blog post about the best types of coffee so you want to link to that um, so that people can find out more when, they, when you're talking about coffee or if you've got a blog post on um, more sleep hacks then you want to link to that in this section um, so linking to internal links super super easy um, just highlight the text that you want to turn into a link just uh, click this insert edit link and you can just start by saying, um, type in a few letters, and then it's going to bring up all of the um, available posts or pages inside your website already. So just um, click on the enter bit and then hit the link. For an external link, exactly the same. Um, you just want to highlight the text, click on insert link, but then you want to paste the link. Um, into here and then click apply. Uh, and that's it for internal and external linking. Okay, so we're nearly done. Um, the last thing you want to do um, is just adding a feature image. Um, so that's just going to sit on top of your blog post um, and it's just going to get pulled through when you share the link onto like your social media stuff so um, set feature image just click on here it's going to bring up your uh, media library so you just want to like pull in a link um, or just drag in an image you can use this feet one again just for, for an example and set that as the featured image um, and then we are done so I'm just going to publish this one <clears throat> Okay, so now that it's published, um, it's actually live on the website. So what we can do is just this permanent link here. It's just going to take us to that link um, to the blog post. So here we are. So we have the, this is the feature image that we use. This is the header one tag. Um, we, um, 
the title comes through intro video and then we've got the subheadings and details here so um, this makes for a interesting read people can quickly watch the video which keeps them on your website for longer which all adds into um, how interesting and engaging your blog post is you can also see that we've got the links here which are highlighted and when we hover over them we can see that the um, where the URL goes to so these are going to be your internal and external links ah um, but before we go so basically that's well, that's it for setting up the blog post the last thing we need to do now so we're just going to go back to editing the page okay so the last thing was the SEO title and description of the post so if we go back to posts here okay you can see that um, so this is the post that we've just done and the SEO title and description are not there so um, if you don't have anything here, um, well, uh, then it's just going to use this as the title, but um, we can make that more interesting and more clickable. So let's put learn um, um, inside a Going to appear on as the blue link um, in Google, and then description. Just want to add in more things um, detailing about what people are going to learn um, on the post. The SEO description is um, less important for actual SEO, but more important for making people click on those link. So um, get fairly creative for those. Uh, SEO descriptions. So um, here we're going to see um, the ten ways that the industry uses you focus and like that. Um, and then just click save on those. Um, the SEO plugin that I use for this is All in One SEO. Um, it's free, and it, yeah, it was the first one that was created for WordPress. So we've been around ages, and they know exactly what to do. So um, hope that helped. Um, yeah, shoot me any of your questions if you've got any. Thanks for watching. Bye.